What's up, Fragrant World? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. My name is JC, and on this channel, we talk about everything fragrance. If you like this type of content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. We'd love to have you back for more videos. Hit that bell so you get notified whenever I upload, and make sure you hit the like button so that me and YouTube knows that you like this kind of content. So with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Today I'm sharing with you a topic I don't talk about much. I've done a couple videos on this before. And the reason why I don't talk about it a whole lot is because it's not my favorite aspect of perfumery. I don't really engage with this arena of perfumery all that often, but every time I do revisit it, I'm reminded that there are quite a few offerings that I've acquired over the years that I do really enjoy. So today I'm sharing with you 10 of my favorite fragrance oils. Now these are coming from about four different fragrance brands. So I got multiples from some of the brands and some of them I've had for a little while, some of them are brand new. So you're gonna get quite an array of fragrance oils to check out. Now I did do a video a couple years ago, at least two years ago at this point, I think it was my first video dealing with oils and that was with Zoha Aroma. And in that video, I talked about some of the pros and cons of using oils versus using a spray like an eau de parfum or eau de toilette, things like that. You can check out that video here if you wanna know more about you know, the duality there. But for today, I'm not gonna touch on that. We're just gonna talk about the oils, gonna tell you what they smell like, gonna tell you why I like them. So here at number 10, this is from a house that I did a review on that almost none of you watched. And this uh, brand, I think they're based out of California and they're all kind of about sustainability and even the oils are designed to be healthy for the skin using things like jojoba oil and avocado oil and you know things like that and this is from a brand called Faro. this is the packaging and they have three offerings right now this one is called geranium bamboo chamomile so this is the box it's the green box remember that and this is what the actual oil container looks like. It is a nice little frosted glass. Now, typically I enjoy my oils to be roll-ons. That is what I prefer. They're not always the case, but this has a little metal roller ball, which is great quality. I love that. This is a really nice scent. It is a little woody. It's from something. Something makes it woody to my nose, but it is very fresh, a little bit rosy but it has that tea in there, the chamomile. I think it's the chamomile adds kind of almost the illusion of woods. Chamomile to me kind of smells a little bit like a, almost like a cottony kind of smell and texture. It's very soft around the edges and it adds this nice, again, beautiful, calming nature to the scent. Pharaoh's whole idea is about making oils that are not gonna be intrusive. They're gonna be very light. You can wear them on a plane, like especially traveling, and you're not gonna disturb anyone. You're just gonna smell fresh. You can refresh yourself, no problem. Again, they're TSA compliant. You can have it on you, you'll be fine. Now, they did actually reformulate all of their oils. They have three offerings, like I said. So I also have the original geranium, bamboo, and chamomile here. And I have tested them side by side, and they've made some significant changes. For one, there's pros and cons to the changes in my opinion. The pro that they made, I think they made the quality of the scent a little bit better. It just smells a little bit more balanced. You don't really have one thing sticking out more than the other and it's even overall a little bit fresher. Whereas the downside, and this is really depending on who you're asking, they actually made the fragrances even more subtle. They are very, very light, almost to the point where it's kind of difficult to detect. I can smell it here if I'm right up on the ball, but this the original is just way more potent. Now, I'm not gonna make this a point of contention because we can't even get the original formulation anymore. I have worn this a lot. I wore this one to bed quite often, but this one, they made it light and it's serving its purpose. You wear it on a plane, maybe wear it to bed. If you're sleeping next to a partner, you don't want to disturb them. You just want to smell fresh and clean for you. And maybe for them, if they do get close to you, then Pharaoh's a great way to go. 
And this is a great offering, again, geranium, bamboo, and chamomile. Up next, from a fragrance brand I talked about sometime last year, uh, at least a year ago, from Oil Perfumery, based in Toronto, Canada. And they are essentially a clone house. They make clones of very popular designer and niche fragrances. They also make clones of some very popular kind of Middle Eastern style fragrances from popular brands in that realm. And this one is called Shea Rose. Come on. Shea Rose and it comes from a house called, I'm gonna say this wrong, Anfesik Dokun. That's the name of the brand that makes the original Shea Rose. And this is an oil impression of that. This is a beautiful watery rose scent. I think there's technically some oud in here as well, which I don't get much of. A very fresh, light, watery rose, very elegant, quite unisex, has a little bit of a sweetness to it. Really pleasant stuff. Great one if you like rose, so that's Shea Rose. This next one up at number eight, this is brand new. I'm gonna talk about this house a little bit more on my Instagram. I'm gonna do a whole video on all their fragrances on my Instagram, so make sure you follow me there to catch that video. This house is called Seven Virtues. Quite a versatile house. I'm not gonna go into all the things that they do, but they have some really nice vision to uh, their brand, and they make fragrances and they make oils. I have a few fragrances as well. Again, I'll talk about on Instagram. The oil, they sent me two of them, and one of them I'm really loving. It's called Blackberry Lily. See that'll focus. Blackberry Lily. Man, this is a beautiful, sweet, dark, juicy blackberry with a little bit of a white floral touch, kind of powdery in the background, a little bit heady, but mostly fruity. But there's even a little bit of a, a woody touch from some vetiver. It's a very elegant fragrance while still being kind of fresh and uplifting. And their whole thing is to really just affect your energy with scent. This one they're saying is best for awakening your creativity, stimulating cognitive thinking, and strengthening your confidence. I think it is intended to be unisex. Some might consider it feminine, but it doesn't really matter to me. It smells gorgeous. It's a very uplifting personality, and one that you can wear when you wanna, I guess, just feel better, feel more confident. I'm gonna link Seven Virtues down in the description. Really, really enjoying their stuff. If you wanna know more about them, Again, follow me on Instagram, look out for that video. Here at number seven, from Zoha. Really enjoy a lot of their stuff. Again, a clone house. They do make clones of popular fragrances. They make oil versions of them. They also make some original stuff as well, um, but they also do some stuff for some popular designer and niche fragrances. I think this might be an original oil, I'm not sure. From their Arabian collection. I believe Zoha is also based out of Toronto. This is called Golden Sands. Now you can see the oil is actually kind of green. In fact, it may have been more yellow at one point. I could be wrong about that though. I've had this a while. Beautiful caramel, vanilla, mandarin, orange. It has this kind of orange zestiness to it, but it's mixed with this sweet, rich, kind of creamy vanilla and caramel. Very gourmand-like, but with a little bit of a zing with the freshness from the orange. I just got it on my nose. Once you get this stuff on your skin, it's just gonna stay there a while. Oils will last a long time. So, and this one will stain your clothes. You gotta be careful. When you see these rich colors like that, be careful. They will stain clothes, so watch out for that. But I really dig this. If you like a sweet kind of gourmand-like scent, that vanilla caramel, but it has a nice little orange touch to it to have some lift, then Golden Sand is a nice one to check out. All right, we got another one from Pharaoh. This one they call Bergamot, Lavender, and Vetiver. Now, one thing I do have to say, and I had to say this in my first review on their brand, I do wish they had another way of differentiating between the, uh, the fragrances when they're outside of their box, other than just reading the tiny print, which has the name of the scent on it. Other than that, they're all the same color. So from afar, if you just like keep them on a dresser, you gotta pick it up and look. It's kind of hard to tell, but you know, I don't know. It's not a deal breaker for me, but I did know that some people were mentioning that in the previous review. And as mentioned, 
This is fresh, kind of zesty bergamot, a little bit of sweetness in there, very aromatic lavender, and that vetiver brings a nice woody touch. Very simple scent profile. It's fresher. This one appears to be a little bit stronger than the dream chamomile and bamboo. This is my favorite one of the three. They have a third one, which I believe is based around like a Lang Lang and sandalwood and things like that. Really nice scent as well. This is my favorite from their brand. Cool thing is, is that Pharaoh is offering you 25% off their oils. So the code will be here. I don't currently have it at the time of filming, but I'll edit it in. Oh, you're gonna edit it in from there? Who do you think is gonna edit it in? Okay, yeah, I, that's what I meant to say. Future mm -hmm. Justin's gonna edit it in. You'll see yes, the code. 25% off, make sure you check these out. This is a great way to stay fresh, especially while traveling. If you do that a lot, then this is one to check out. Pharaoh's really nice. Okay, here at number five, a brand new brand here. Just got these in the other day. They were supposed to arrive a few weeks ago, coming from the UK, but shipping was a nightmare and it took almost a month to get here. So they sent me five oils and unfortunately four of them spilled in transit. They're not totally gone. They just lost some and they kind of made the packaging a little bit, you know, not so aesthetically pleasing now. This is the only one that did not spill. So this is the one I'm gonna show. They sent me five. I liked about two or three of them the most. I'm gonna show you the one I like the most. The brand is called Mood Seasons and they were generous enough to send me some of their clone oils. Now they do claim that the oils are not intended to completely copy what they are going for. On the website, they'll have the note breakdown as identical to the, uh, the fragrance that they're doing an impression of, but they do say that they try to put their own twist on it. I have yet to truly attest to that, but I'm gonna give some more time to the oils. But this one I really like, and funnily enough, this is a real simple, kind of a basic scent. It's called Zeus Love. The presentation on these is cool. It comes in this bamboo container. This is, I think, a 10 or 15 mil. They have different sizes all the way up to 30 mil. And it has a screw cap. It says Mood Seasons. This has a little tag. It says Zeus Love. This is a clone of Versace Arrows. And this simply just smells great. It smells like Versace Arrows, but it's a little richer but it still has that nice minty freshness to it. Apple and vanilla is in here. Some uh, lemon, I believe, or some kind of zestiness up top. And this one lasts forever on this skin. Versace Eros is already a pretty strong fragrance, but this one outperforms it for me in terms of comparing it to the spray version. This one will stay on your skin forever. Now, the only thing I'm not crazy about with this presentation is the application. Like I said, I prefer roller balls, but the way you would apply this is similar to how you might apply an aftershave. You put your finger over it, you dip it, and then you would you know, rub it and you can put it on. And that's the cool thing about oils as opposed to spray is that you have complete control over where it's going on your body. Now it can get a, maybe a little messy when you have to use your finger, but it, it's not the worst. You can spread it around with oils. You're technically supposed to rub them in a little bit, which you don't do for regular spray fragrances that have alcohol. Uh, the oils, they need to be activated a bit and some warmth will do that just a little bit. You don't have to go crazy with it. They have uh, quite a few different impressions. They have one for Creed Viking. They have one for Creed Virgin Island Water that's really good. They have one for Blue de Chanel that's pretty good. They're definitely worth checking out. If you're in the UK, real easy to get. You can still get them here in the US too. You're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer for shipping. And hopefully, you know, they won't spill. Again, this one was totally fine, but I did let the brand know what happened and I think they'll just try to take some precautions to make sure that doesn't happen if you are to place an order and receive it. But just a really, even aesthetically, a different take on a fragrance oil. I do love this presentation. It's just cool. It's kind of ambiguous, but also intriguing and just Zeus Love is good too. So that is Mood Seasons. Okay, moving right along here at number four, another one from the House of Oil Perfumery. And this one comes from a Swiss Arabian fragrance, which is a very popular Middle Eastern house. And this is their impression of Swiss Arabian's Rakan, which I might be saying wrong. This one has some citrus in the top, which actually stays quite a, a bit because it is an oil, it's gonna stick around. 
It has a little bit of like a lotus blossom, a lotus flower heart. So it has almost a watery nature to it. And the base does have some oud and it does have some ambergris apparently. Overall, it's a little sweet. It's a little fresh, kind of woody. It's very, very beautiful. It's actually kind of a hard scent to describe, but it smells wonderful. I love it. I really, really love this stuff. I recommend checking this one out. This is kind of a fresh take on a Middle Eastern kind of DNA. Really beautiful, elegant scent. Here at number three, back to the house of Zoha. I have this on my arm here. That's really nice. This is an oud based scent, but it has a beautiful freshness to it. They call this Agar of Dawn. Same presentation as the other one. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it has a bit of a watery nature to it. I think there is some rose in here. Oud, it's fresh. It is another rose oud fragrance, but it's very high quality stuff. Real easy to wear. Something you can wear even when it's a little bit warmer because it does have a nice freshness to it. So it doesn't have to just be worn in the cold months. This is an oud, a little bit more oud presence in here than I'd say average, but if it's still very elegant, don't be afraid of it. So that is Agar of Dawn. Here at number two, back to oil perfumery. I know we're just bouncing around between these two houses. Uh, this is their impression of Dior, this Ambre Nuit, which I have not actually smelled the original of. I'm really slacking on the Privé collection. Oh, beautiful amber rose fragrance. <laughs> Man, I, it makes me want to smell the original because this is opulent stuff. Really beautiful. Some of you may have already smelled this, so you kind of know what it smells like. But if you want a good quality clone of it, it's probably under 20 bucks for 10 milliliters of an oil that's gonna last you a while. I would check this out. Amber Nuit is really, really nice. Really, really, really beautiful. I'm gonna try to get a sample of the real thing at some point. And my number one, this comes from Zoha, from their Arabian collection. <sighs> this is a beautiful opulent scent and it's also quite unique. Oh, I have it on my arm here. This is called Al Intisar. Interesting combination of things. Fig, honey, dates, resins. It is sweet, it's a little balsamic, but mostly sweet. That dates is kind of like a almost juicy, but thick and kind of dark, almost fruity smell, but not really quite fruity, not bright, fresh, fruity. This is so beautiful. This is one that I would love to wear more during the nighttime. I'm glad I dug it out. I was wearing this quite a bit uh, last year. I'd wear it to gigs at night, but I'm gonna dig this one out again. Al Intisar, really, really beautiful stuff. So I'm gonna link to all these oils down in the description. Make sure you check them out. Really appreciate you tuning in this long if you've been here. I know this was a long video. If you want to support me and what I'm doing here in front of this camera, you know, just trying to do what I do, trying to bring valuable content to you, you can help me do more of this by going to my Patreon, becoming a member of the Fresh Fam. Would love to have you join in with the conversation, get to know each other a little better, and get some exclusive content there as well. And once again, please join the Fresh Squad here on YouTube. Consider subscribing, hit that bell. Would love to have you back for more videos. And let me know what your favorite oil is. If you have a, a fragrance oil that you're into, you love to wear on occasion, let me know what that is. I'm trying to get into some more brands for them. And if there's anyone here that you're interested in, or maybe you've tried on this list, then let's talk about that too. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace, I'll see you in the next one.